All right, so we're ready to well, one overboard. <laughs> um, we're looking for the jewel dam selfish. Everybody knows everybody. Yeah, everybody knows. So you can't get into any trouble when you're a kid. Nope. <laughs> so you have respect for everyone around you. So this is the, the welcome Cove area. Restaurant. The Cove restaurant. Hello. Oh, it's a little cocktail. What do we got here? It's my kind of cocktail. Let's <laughs> check it out. Let's check it out. Mmm. Oh, that's nice. I have just arrived to my villa. So this is, I guess, a little outdoor seating area, and we're going to have a look inside. It's nice and cool. Okay, so this here is our living room and kitchen. Really pretty. Okay, let's have a look at this view. There it is a pool, ocean, air conditioning. What else could you need? The sand in Turks and Caicos is truly sand. You have not felt anything like this before if you have not been to Turks and Caicos. I love it. The coolest thing about this resort, Sail Rock, is that you have the Atlantic here. And literally, I just walk across this great house to the other side and you have the Caribbean. So you can choose from either side. You can have a villa on the Atlantic Ocean and then come over and kayak and lounge and swim on the Caribbean side. There we are. Can you see that? enjoying some time on the beach before I get ready for dinner. Just a couple things that I wanted to really highlight about Sail Rock in South Caicos. First, there is just this peace and quiet that is here that is like no other. Just sitting here or sitting outside my room, it is just so quiet and it's not something I ever experienced in Florida. Also, the beaches are just incredible. So we have both the Caribbean and the Atlantic um, as part of this resort, which is really cool. So you get the great trade wind breezes. And the service at Sail Rock is really exceptional. And sometimes that's pretty hard to do in the Caribbean for whatever reason. Um, but everyone knows who you are. Everyone delivers on any little thing that you might ask for. The food has been incredible. So it's really just been a great experience. I'm super happy to be here and have the opportunity with Condé Nast Johansson's to come and visit Sail Rock and inspect this property to approve it for part of our 2020 luxury hotel collection. So tomorrow I will be in Provo and Pine K. So I'll be visiting some other properties there, but I'm just really grateful for this day. Hi, this I'm back again. It's here with Sail Rock. On tour. Yes, we're gonna yes. go see a two bedroom, a one bedroom, and then I think some of these suites up yes, over here. Yes, a few suites that we have as well. So we're gonna give a, a surround view of some of the accommodations that we have that are only at Sail Rock in yes. South Cape. South Cape. Drift Villa 11. 11 is 
11 is my lucky number. It's a two-bedroom <laughs> beachfront villa deluxe. Okay. Well, so every um, villa here has its own private pool. There we are. Okay, here we are. This is right. the living room. so nice in here. And the So you have your living room space with the direct ocean view. You have your full kitchen with a stove, a microwave, and then we go to your master bedroom, which is also an ocean view. I love the you colors. Have a ocean view from your master bedroom, access to your patio. And then big bathrooms, of course, outdoor yes. showers, big tub, big, big, big tubs. Oh, so last night, I gotta take my glasses off. Last night we saw these flamingos. Um, so the island basically has these flamingos, they obviously have a ton of uh, marine life, whale sharks and fish and all that. They've got donkeys, I've yet to see the donkeys on property, but I do know we'll that they're there. <laughs> but those are the flamingos, and apparently they're really white, but they turn pink because of the stuff that they eat. So that's kind of a fun fact about the flamingos. Travel as family, or this is the humpback whale, actually. Yes, yeah, so well, these so pass by they now, do migration. Okay, in March, April, they're passing right, March, yes, April, yes. they're passing through uh, South Caicos. So, if you want really like an epic, epic adventure, uh, come March, April, because to see these guys, I haven't seen it yet, I've got to come back, but I know that that's when it happens. It is another beautiful day here in South Caicos, the Turks and Caicos. And today I am going on a snorkel excursion. So we're here in South Caicos. We've got Joe and Catherine and Molly and Mervyn. Mervyn. What should we expect to see? Uh, we're gonna do some uh, snorkeling first and then we're gonna go to the key city of Bonus. We're gonna see the site where the whales pass. Oh, and then awesome. we're gonna see the starfish. Oh, and okay, nice. we're gonna get some fresh conk and we're gonna have some fresh conk stuff. Okay. Wow, nice. All right, so we're ready to, well, one <laughs> overboard. <laughs> um, we're looking for the jewel damsel fish. And later we're apparently going to look for a whale shark. So let's see what we see. four barracudas, uh, resident barracudas who live here on this reef. And I've just spotted two of them. One of them showed me his teeth and uh, I don't know how close I want to get, but I'll try. Side to the shell. We just put a little hole right here. Oh wow! Gotcha. Molly's got our conch. Just cleaned it up. Yes. So Molly's now preparing, cutting up the conch. Doesn't get fresher than this. a little private island, Iguana Island, and I've got my conch salad here. Let's see. Have a look. Let's give this a try. Mm. So we're going on an adventure walk to find the iguanas. We just found a couple of skeletons <laughs> and, and a conch There's graveyard. One right there. There's one right <laughs> let's there. see. Apparently, they have 160 teeth, so let's not get too close.
getting a little close for me. <laughs> We're at the top. <laughs> it was this tiny little hike up. It's really cool. And this, we've got this green, blue Caribbean dog food. And then this dark Turks and Caicos and maybe they want to come to Turks and Caicos. Most people go to Providenciales or Provo but you've got to check out some of these outer islands. Um, I've been going to Provo for like 10-12 years now and um, this is my first time checking out South Caicos. And Am <music> 